So for the past 10 years, I have been using the Boss FS6 external foot switch. But recently, I picked myself up the Boss FS7 to test out its smaller form factor. And in today's video, I want to compare the two pedals. So what exactly is an external foot switch? Now to put it simply, an external foot switch is a triggering device. And specifically, it's turning something on and turning something off. Now the way you could use an external foot switch is to channel switch on a traditional valve amplifier. So for example, you could switch between the clean channel or switch over to the overdrive distorted channel out of the amp. Now the clever thing about both the Boss FS6 and the Boss FS7 is the fact they are a dual foot switch design pedal in a very compact form factor. Now the cool thing about these dual foot switches is you do have the ability to determine the end destination of both foot switches individually. So for example, you could send both foot switch A and B to the same destination, or you could specifically send foot switch A to your amplifier and also send foot switch B to a second amplifier or a multi-effects unit to turn something on or off like a tuner. Now there are some additional controls on the Boss FS6 and the Boss FS7, and these controls allow you to change the state of which the foot switch operates within. So you can either set your foot switch to be momentary or latch. Now depending on which mode you choose will determine how the foot switch responds with the device it is trying to trigger. Now if you set your foot switch to latch mode, this will be like a light switch. You will turn the foot switch on and it will remain on and then you will click the foot switch a second time to switch it off. So it is on and then it is off. Now if you choose to go for momentary, this is a press and hold style command. So this means you would press the foot switch in for the duration that you want that command to be triggered for and then as soon as you release the foot switch, it will stop the effect or whatever it is this is mapped to do. So now let's talk about the differences between the Boss FS6 and the Boss FS7. Now other than the pretty obvious one, which is the size, the Boss FS6 is a bit of a brute compared to the Boss FS7, there is a huge factor that you need to consider when it comes to making your purchasing decision. And that is the power. Now with the Boss FS6, this runs off of exclusively an internal battery. So you need to have a nine volt battery to power the Boss FS6. So this means as soon as you connect your lead for connecting the device, this will power up, it will trigger the on command, and then the two red lights over here will illuminate when you click in the foot switches. Now, as soon as you disconnect this cable, the Boss FS6 will turn itself off, but this leads to a huge problem. If you accidentally leave this connected on your pedal board after a late night and you forget to switch it off, this will continue to draw power. So there's a high chance the next time you come to use it, it could potentially have ran out of battery, which could become quite frustrating, especially if you're using this very frequently. Whereas with the Boss FS7, this runs off of an external power supply. So if you're running a pedal board like the Boss BCB90X, for example, that has an integrated power supply, which means you could daisy chain and connect this to your power brick. And then when you connect that to the power plug on the wall, this will boot up all of your pedals simultaneously. And it will also power your external foot switching, meaning that you can leave this connected at all times. And then as soon as you just turn the power plug on at the wall, this will power up your external foot switch. Maybe a better solution for working musicians who are frequently using this equipment and don't wanna rely on using batteries, charging, recharging batteries, whatever it is that you are doing. Now, if you are a busker and you maybe use something like the Boss RC500, now obviously the Boss RC500 is battery operated, then the Boss FS6 may be a better option for you because this too is battery operated. So if you're busking on the streets with a rolling cube, which is also battery operated, and you do not have any form of a power outlet, then the FS6 is the only solution here that's going to work for you. So that is the decision that you need to make. Now, one final thing I want to mention about the form factor is how the Boss FS7 really surprised me by how small it actually is. It's about half the size of what I imagined it to be in my head. When I unboxed it, I couldn't believe how elegant of a solution this external foot switch is. And this does allow you to use multiple FS7s in close proximity to one another for a lot of external foot switch capabilities in a very small surface area. For probably the size of maybe one FS6, you could almost get three FS7s close to one another, giving you six external foot switches 
instead of two. So that's something else to definitely think about. Now, if you want to pick up any of the foot switches in today's video, make sure you check out the links in the video description down below to help support the channel. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.